today, motherfucker. <laughs> we chilling today, man. For real talk. We need some light. Oh, um, it's dark outside. It's raining. They talking about tornado watch. All type of stuff. We still out here on the grind. I'm actually trying to get my my, my vehicle. I know my I know my tire fell off when I was driving the other day. And thing about that is I got a new set of wheels that I'm picking up and waiting on it to get done. I'm here to pick my stuff up and they ain't even ready. Nah, they matter of fact, this shit ain't even here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, man, I'm talking about. It. They said. They said. Well, I'm coming to pick my car up. They ain't call me or nothing. I'm coming to pick it up. That's like. Uh, oh, hold on. They close in one hour, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> close in one hour. And the car ain't even here. Car ain't here. Wow. I pull up. They they scrambling like. You know what I mean? Right, like, hold on. They're like, oh, uh, I, I think your shit up the street. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you think it's up the street? Yeah. But it's pouring down raining. Once I get my whip, though, I'm going to try to make it to this grocery store. But just so y'all know, man, we chilling today. We got to give our body some time to recuperate, rebuild. Nah, that. <clears throat> Once I get my whip, I'm gonna try to make it to that grocery store and uh, just do just do a little walk through. You know what I'm saying? Show y'all what's going on. Check back with y'all here in a minute. All right, man. As y'all can see, we in the grocery store. Um, finally made it in here and. I'm going to give y'all a real quick hint, man, about this grocery store, man. See, I ain't going to be in here a whole lot because there ain't too many things I can just keep showing y'all over and over again about the grocery store. I'm going to just tell you one time. Of course, you know, you can never go wrong with the fruit tray. It's a little pricey, but with these fruit trays, they only last for like three days once you open them, three to four days. So they do go kind of quick. You know, but that's always something good. Always something good. Of course, you know, you want to get your kale. You know what I'm saying? 50 50 blend. That's dope. So listen, I'm going to give y'all my number one go to meal. If you really want to cut the meat, if you want to get full, but cut out the meat and still be able to get good and full man gotta go with the beans so i'm saying black beans or red beans you get some black beans red beans with some organic rice mix that shit together mix it together Red beans and rice, hey, every day. And I know y'all like, ugh, that's nasty, that's nasty. But, you know, if you just want a little cheap meal that's not unhealthy, but also you can get full off of it, not having to starve yourself, red beans and rice, organic rice. Um, organic rice is key or brown rice, of course. And of course you wanna do your veggies um, or whatnot. Now, if you are eating chicken, if you are eating meat or beef, I would prefer to get turkey, ground turkey, um, ground chicken or chicken, grilled chicken, of course, no fried foods, none of that. That is if you are eating the meats. But the thing about that, um, Chicken and broccoli is always my personal favorite. But like I said, man, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. And those those few entrees I named, you wanna eat the same thing over and over, honestly. 
and cut you, you can have a cheap day maybe once a week or so. Um, also, peanut butter, you know, um, you can never go wrong with eating peanut butter. Peanut butter go good with just about anything, man. If you do peanut butter, put it on some wheat bread, whatever, whatever. And uh, for the little snacks, man, I'm gonna show you the best snacks that you can snack on. You should really cut your meals down. Uh, if you're not just eating small snacks throughout the entire day, if you're just eating once a day, you should cut it down at around no later than seven o'clock. If you, if you do eat a full meal, you don't want to eat after seven. Now, it costs to eat real good. Y'all see these prices now? These are some of the best snacks you can possibly get. You know what I'm saying? If you're just snacking throughout the day, you can literally snack on these all day long. Pecans, almonds, you know, they got the mixed nuts that go together. All these are good options just to snack on all day long. If, you, if you're one of those people who just feel like you gotta eat all the time, you gotta snack on these, man, all day. This, this will to save you. You can eat these. Now they pricey now, like I said. It, it costs to eat healthy. But, uh... <laughs> uh look, y'all see what we got. Y'all see what we working with now. Oh, that's for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but listen though, I'm gonna give y'all a secret about the grocery store. And, and if you remember this, you will stay healthy at all times. Cause we ain't gonna be in the grocery store a whole lot. What's but the, what's the difference from the dark red? Them kidney beans, yeah. But listen though, listen to me. You notice around the back of the store, or should I say the edge of the store is all the fresh foods. When you walk into a grocery store, the vegetables are always kind of on the back wall. And then you work your way around to the fresh meats and stuff like that. But I say that because all the fresh foods are around the back of the store. The more you get into the center of the store, the worse it gets. The more processed is it, it is. Like when you work your way to the middle, you got the box cereal. You got the frozen pizzas the all the processed foods is always in the middle my bud my bud trying to walk out in traffic but like i said man you stay around the edge of the stove hey you're gonna pick up fresh stuff walk around the back wall of the store and stay out the center of it you'll be good yeah Every store ain't like that, motherfucker. Every store ain't like that. Like a Walmart oh, you a dumbass. Like yeah, it is. Idiot. Nah, it ain't, bitch. Yeah, it is. Oh! So when you go to Walmart, when you go to Walmart, tell me what you see. Man, they got the they got the workers in here sneezing all over the food and shit. Right. <laughs> now listen, that right that rice I was telling y'all about, right here. That white rice organic. Although you know it is, it's one minute microwave, but. That's not the best option. No, nah, it ain't. But um, you know, you want to go with the either the brown rice, like one. that, that, which is really top of the line, or jasmine rice is decent. It's decent too to go with them beans. You feel me? And we eating the same thing, man, every day. Same thing. Ten minutes. And, and and throughout the day we technically starving man you know because honestly man what y'all don't understand we're supposed to fast you know you're really supposed to fast for the for people who don't know the word breakfast comes from breaking your fast that's how they came up with that so makes sense when you eat breakfast you breaking your fast but you really should fast it's good for your spirit and everything, your mind, body, and soul. The jasmine rice, yeah, I'm gonna throw that in there. Um, so the best way to lose weight, if you really wanna have results quick, you gotta fast and don't eat after seven o'clock. 
So I'm giving y'all real gems right now. Y'all gonna watch, y'all gonna see it pay off. Gonna get some of these bananas and peanut butter. And I'm gonna show y'all a real good combination. And of course, man, you can't forget about the limes. Key limes, especially. Key limes is a super fruit. Man, fruits, vegetables, that's really all y'all need to stay on, to be honest. But the thing about key limes, which I've seen them somewhere, um, key limes are good for your body. It's electric. Y'all know about Dr. CB, man. Y'all know about the key limes and stuff. And when it comes to the shit in the middle, man, that's about the only thing that's worth anything. That tone. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. Look, full, 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 empty. I just got the last one, you hear me? Oh, shit. Oh! All right, real talk, look, I just got the last one. All my healthy eaters, they know what's up when it comes to this. When you really, really hungry during that fast, and you need a little snack just to put some on your stomach, this is the key. All right, so enough with the snacks, man. Uh, enough with the snacks, man. As y'all can see, look, we got two things of two things of the trail mix. That's that's fire. We got our cashews, little fruit, little jasmine rice, beans. You know, there ain't no beef in here, no pork, no chicken, none of that. Some bananas. And honestly, what you see right here, this will last you a week, no cap. But we are going to get some chicken and some broccoli because that's going to be our main dinner for the week. And we're going to get one more thing. I'm going to show y'all what to drink, man. Show y'all what we're drinking on to keep us right. No sodas, of course. I know y'all know that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop right here. Hey, chips and salsa goes down goes down that's another one but you want to get the ones with no salt get the tortilla chips with no salt with salsa a great snack now another alternative too is bubble gum, I'm not chewing gum my yeah stay away from the bubble gum man chewing gum sometimes when you really think you're hungry you just need a little, little flavor that's all a little flavor and a little water to hold you over to dinner time or lunch or something like that. Gum is a great thing for that. Listen to me. Y'all, if y'all really want to be, if y'all want to make it, man, copy what you see in this buggy. Add some chicken, add some broccoli. Of course, you add some salad. We got plenty of salad at the crib. That's why we ain't bought no salad. Plenty of salad at home, plenty of vegetables at home, plenty of fruits at home. Just if you buy it consistently, stock up on it. You'd be right. Peanut butter to go with them bananas. And I'm gonna show you this shake I make at the crib. I'm gonna grab a few more ingredients and we out of here. All right, now as far as what we drinking on, right here. Put these in your water, zero sugar. Zero sugar. If you don't wanna drink that, just plain water. These help a lot. I'm telling you. Stay away from sugar, man. It's the devil. Hey, right, man, listen. Rain, sleet, or snow. We doing this for y'all, man. We out here. We don't care about this weather. All right, y'all. We're going to make this real quick, yo. So, get your bananas. As you can see, I already got me a cup of ice to start off with. And if you ain't got a magic bullet, man, get your magic bullet. It's... it's, it's it's a must. Um, start off with a nanner. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Throw a couple of nanners in there. You dig? Then just some protein powder. You dig? I like the vanilla bean, you know. Original. You can see I already dug into it. Get your little, little half a scoop. I like to do two half a scoops, but really you can do two whole scoops. All right.
tonight. Then we're going to add a little bit of almond milk. I remember what I got earlier for y'all. A little something, you know what I'm saying? Let it drizzle down the bottom. I'm gonna let it fill up. Then you get your little paint of butter. I like to do one scoop. Just slide it right on the tizz out, you know? And so, so far we got unsweetened vanilla almond milk, protein powder, banana, a little bit of peanut butter with the ice. You gotta have the ice, that's a must. Go to Sonic, get that, that, that chopped ice, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna blend it up. If you ain't got the blender, sleep. Y'all see some of my stuff trying to stick at the bottom. If that happens, you just gotta add a little more milk. Sticking it up. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like, man. I'm telling you, this is magic. No cow. Make you one of these, man. I'm telling you. Magic. But yeah, man, hey. I'm telling you. Mmm. Woo! This is one of my personal favorite shakes, man. Uh, sometimes I even put some celery in here. I might throw some peanuts in there sometimes if I want a little more protein. But that's how you make it. Once you leave the gym every day, this is a meal replacement shake. So when you leave the gym, do this for lunch. And in between time, eat some of them little peanut butter uh, pretzel snacks that I showed y'all or some almonds. You know, a little stuff to snack on until dinner, but don't eat after 7 o'clock if you're a veteran fasting. But you can go up to 9 if you're just beginning. I'm giving y'all the keys, man. Just, hey, do it, do as, it, do as we do, and you're going to see what's happening. But, yeah, man, day 6 tomorrow. Hey, I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Straight up. Deuce. I'm going to get it. You hear the wind. The cat, man. I'm going in. Look at his ass, he in shape. Look at that ice, she in shape. Look at my case, yeah, straight. Pushing weight, I'm in shape. Look at the abs, he in shape.